Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode. Hope you're all doing well. In a previous episode we built this gate that leads to the hostile area. So this is mainly just to keep those guys and the hogs out. We terraformed this area. We added some custom trees. Our first market which is just a little flower garden, flower shop. We did the mine and we did this little forge building. Or the blacksmith's building, rather the blacksmith's building. And the idea today is to create an iron farm for the storage and to, let me show the other place, break through bedrock. So right about up here somewhere we'll break through bedrock. I think you fly up there or you fling, I think you fly up there. Um, obviously we can't fly up yet, we don't have an elytra. So what will happen now is this I'll decorate and I'll turn this into storage for the iron farm. And just like with the mob farm, We'll do it in overworld, it will shoot the items out, and they will be stored in this area. And if we go around this way, up there is where we go to bedrock for now temporary. But we'll do that later. So first, let me head to the overworld, and then I'll quickly show you. I don't think I have a bed yet. Okay, we can build one. I did bring enough wool for all the beds, so let's just build one. Did I bring wood? Can I not see the wood? Okay, well, I'm quickly going to build a bed and I'll be right back. So here we have the area, guys. So the idea is to build an ocean monument close by. Might utilize that somehow. But the idea is to build uh, iron farm the designs by Nembom. it's quite powerful so I want to do that so if we do do an overworld reset we don't have to build, rebuild the iron farm immediately and this will be the center point we'll have a platform above this shooting all the items through the portal that will go to the overworld again oh, the, the, the nether there's a bug with the ocean that's weird the nether so let me crack on and start planning this thing out and then we'll start building Okay, everybody back again and I'm just in the process of transporting the villagers over so this is the last three that needs to go so I thought I'd bring you guys in and show you how I've been doing it so we're picking them up at the breeder sending them all the way down here where they go down the track and by the portal they get ejected out of the minecart where they travel through to the nether and if we just see, yeah, three minecarts, so they all, all three went through. So let's follow quickly. And on the other side, I should have... No, I don't want to get in myself. Should start to see them go into the minecarts. This is the part that takes the most time. Just getting them all in here. Come on, guy. He now wants to be difficult. Let's do that. He's still stuck in there. Okay, well, let's quickly remove this one. Let's do that. And 
and just put in a normal rail on the corner here. Let's see, maybe we can get those to go. There we go. There they go. All out. So now we go out here. Let's replace this and this. And now we send them on their way again. Here goes that guy. There goes this guy. And now they head over this the river. Through the port area. Past the house. And then we've got the same ejection set up in the nether side over here. So if we go through runs up here and all of this I'll remove as soon as I'm done but they go in here there's three minecarts that means we got them all so just simply detect each activator in and out and if we show up on this side then if we're lucky we got them in minecarts on the side as well so again we've got that one stubborn one but it's fine we're gonna get him now okay we're out and all I usually do over here is I just block this area off and then I just tend to push this guy that's if he doesn't push pushes me back first let's try again okay let's leave him for now let's get rid, rid of this one Come on, why doesn't he want to get out? Okay, I'm quickly going to see if I can get him out and I'll be right back. Back up here again and now time for the final part. So let's put in that track and let's see if we can nudge him over here. Because now tricky part is we need to get him off of that track and onto a power track, powered rail so let's see if we can do that quickly, let's just keep our health high because if he's going to kill us, there we go and off he goes, let's quickly rip these out and there goes our first iron golem There goes another one. So he'll go around in circles, scaring the villagers. Let's just rip out a few more. I'm scared they spawn up here. Goes over there. Didn't see anything spawn over there. That could be bad. This side. Also nothing. Goes over there again. So I'll just have to keep an eye on this, just make sure it all works all over. And then, yeah, I'm gonna AFK you for a bit, and then I'll give you guys the numbers as soon as I'm back. Back again, guys, and this farm's been running for quite a while. Um, as you can see, there goes the minecart golem should fall down I think it's because I just loaded the area so it just takes a little while to register but then they spawn they drop down and the rates are quite insane for over just over three hours I got seven and a half stacks more or less of iron blocks that's not even ingots that's iron blocks so this thing's really potent so let's quickly go down so it usually takes a while to, uh, to boot up if I could say so after you come in from the nether um, sometimes you need to sleep sometimes it just works on its own 
but this thing is wor working. I had to do a few alterations and so basically it was just things I forgot. Those blocks had to be gloss because I ended up making them out, making them out of warped, um, warped blocks, warped fungus blocks, whatever. And iron golems would spawn on that corner and they would kill the zombie. So I had to do this whole center part over, but it's in now, it's fine. I also dropped these down a bit lower because they used to be on this level just to increase the rates because otherwise they would only spawn a iron golem every second time after the mine god with the zombie passes. Yep, he's in there. But as I said, this thing works now. Um, so that's all good. That I accidentally broke, so that needs to get replaced again. But for now, this thing's up and running. So I'm going to head into the, put away these, uh, this iron, head into the nether and We'll tackle something else I really want to do. Be back now. So here we're down again in the port city. And I think it's time for the next part of this episode. Which will be a little time lapse. So sit back and enjoy as I create the market. Okay, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Sure, got a lot done. So, as we head down here, we enter into our new market area where I did add a, more, a few more blocks, I added more, more dead bushes and some plants and so forth. Finished this tree, did that tree as well, and just did all the stalls. So, here we've got like a guy selling coal and campfires and stuff, and over here, like a little carpet stall with a few rugs hanging and this was inspired by a friend of mine called called oatmeal uh, i will link his channel in the description he he's got some nice ideas he's got some nice builds going on and he's 
he's been the one inspiring me a lot. He's been giving feedback on the leaf types usage and a lot of other things. So, oats, I thank you. Then on this side, we've got another berry stall and we've got some berries up here and just some growing over there. We've got a guy selling some pumpkins and with the invisible item frames, I created those. And then the last one is a, f a fish merchant stall. So the idea is to add another tree, maybe. I'm not really sure where because I don't want to take away from that. So I was thinking in this area, let it go up high, arch over this building. And then maybe one down here as well, over there somewhere. That just creates like an arch over the lava. Maybe have it look like it's singed. Maybe use the more, the oak leaves because it's close to the lava. And then, like you guys saw in a previous episode, all of that. So, this area is really coming together now. We've got some stalls. I'll just dress this up the back a bit more. I'm not sure how, but I will figure that out between episodes. And then, yeah, this is just looking so, so cool. Again, in the next episode, I have some ideas for the nether roof, maybe, or go do the dragon, find the end portal so long. And prep for the dragon fight. So let me down, no, down in the comments, what would you like to see? The dragon fight, another farm, or just some building in the city? I hope you guys enjoy it, enjoyed it. It's been a short episode. I had some exams this week. So please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know where I can improve. It's greatly appreciated. Until the next episode, bye for now.